Hey guys, Nick here from Into Fly Fishing, and again I am here in Slovenia for this episode. If you guys checked out the last couple episodes, I was fishing with Rock here in Slovenia, a local guide, and we had a great time, caught some beautiful fish. Now we're in one of the main fishing areas, the main fly fishing areas here in the country. This is the Socha Valley. And again, I'm with Rock, but this time Rock looks very different because there's actually two guides here in Slovenia with the same name, Rock. So fishing with a different Rock, but hopefully we have similar luck today. I can't wait to get out on these waters because they are crystal clear and we have these beautiful mountains surrounding us. The scenery is already spectacular. So I just can't wait to get in, get some fish. This region in particular is super famous for the marble trout, the biggest trout species in the world. And also in my opinion, one of the most beautiful. So we are gonna try to go for some of those and there's also some rainbow here. So let's get into it. he took that fly that time. Those fish are so cool looking. That's a marble trout. That's what they look like guys. And fishing them in this crystal clear water here in the mountains of Slovenia is, is a pretty awesome feeling. So there you go. Let's get another one. Too far, yeah, okay. Yeah. Come on, buddy. Problem. Are you lucky? Oh my God, nice fish. Oh God, I'm gonna slip off. Okay. Oh my God. Oh. Unless the fish will go down again. See, to the right, to the right, to the right. <laughs> oh, nice. Looks like wow. Looks like not. No. All right. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm actually going to do it like this. Oh, fuck. I'm going to jump that way real quick. Nice fish. Okay. Wow. There we go. Go ahead, bud. It's a list. All right. Oh, okay. I can't take too much credit for that one because <laughs> Rock here spotted the fish and was really giving me a lot of instruction on how to, you know, mend the line and get the fly right in the right spot. And after maybe 15 or 20 casts at that same fish, at least, he took that, that nymph and that was beautiful. Nice work, man.
Nice. Too far right. Okay, I want that guy in the middle. just casting again at these marbles and spotting them and there's a bunch in this pool right here and finally got one to take and there's like trees everywhere it's really difficult to get a good cast going and to mend the line properly with these different variations of currents but we got that marble and they're also a little spooky but cool to catch them in these kind of difficult conditions so let's get back on here all right so as always i'm going to talk about the gear that i'm using today Today I have the Snowbee Prestige GXS 9 foot 5 weight fly rod and I have that spooled up with their Spectre 7-8 cassette reel and on that reel I have some nice Snowbee floating fly line. I'm also wearing the Vixen pack. This has always been super handy to keep all my fishing gear in here. Today it's more for cameras and stuff but still handy to have on my waist so let's get back to fishing. Yeah. Yeah, that's a nice. <laughs> Is uh, I don't think so. Yeah, he just took it really slow. Oh, he's on there. He took it very gentle. Longer one than the other ones. It's okay, here below the rod. Ready? Probably gonna kill it. There it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Another pretty looking marble. Uh, that one just kind of sipped on it, wasn't really coming up really hard. I didn't even know I had it on at first. Set the hook just in case because I saw a little flash of a shadow and got that one in. And I just love the colors and the designs on the sides of these fish. Super different from everything else I've ever caught. All right, so we fished a few of these pools just here on this river and we caught a few. So now we're heading off to another spot. Apparently it's on the sunnier side of the valley and they have some bigger marble trout. So hope we get something there too. Such cool colors on him. Oh yeah, he's good. He's good to go. Oh, Whew. that is a cool way. Whew. Almost fell. That's a cool way to catch fish. We're just casting out these dry flies. A couple of times the line hitting the water because it's so clear really spooked them. But on that last cast, you could see him just slowly come up and take the fly. Just a gentle set and got him on there. Pretty wicked. All right, so we had a good day. We had a lot of success getting these marbles out of this beautiful area here. But at the end here, I can see them down there in the pools. 
but I just can't get the cast over to them. So I'm getting a little bit sloppy with it. I think it's time to call her, but we did have a great day. So I'm so stoked we came up here. It's just so cool fishing around here. And we have these stunning surroundings. The drive up here was gorgeous. And yeah, we got a lot of good fish. So we did well today, buddy. Good job. Nice. Yep. All right. Thanks you guys for watching the video. If you liked this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much to Rock and Rock at Loose Fly Fishing. Really appreciate it. Till next time, tight lines. Mm -hmm.